What's up YouTube? This is James coming back at you with another informative video. I hope everybody's doing well out there on this Wednesday hump day. I'm doing good myself. Well, I got a horror story that has basically based off of a movie that's come to life. That's just the you know best way I can just explain this, you know. Actually, to me, it's based off of the movie Orphan. Okay? I don't know how many of y'all ever seen that movie, but uh uh this story right here fits it to, you know, down to, you know, to the T. Uh, I recommend after you, we read this story right here that y'all check out the movie Orphan, okay? But to get into the story, it says, Woman accused of abandoning adopted daughter says she was an, uh, an adult suffering from dwarfism who wanted to kill family, okay? That's scary. You know, uh, now, if this is the person that they're talking about that was adopted, she does look strange, man. Look at how the face is made. This, you know, little girls you ain't gonna find, you know, look like this, you know. Which, when you adapt, you don't really know what you're getting anyway. You know, uh, I've heard so many um, horror stories about adopting children these were children now this is actually a grown person in a in a in a you know little girl little kid body turn out to be sound like she was some some kind of demon or something you know let's get into the story a u.s woman accused of abandoning her daughter has claimed the girl she adopted in 2010 was in fact an adult suffering from dwarfism who tried to kill the family Christine Barnett and ex-husband Michael Barnett were charged with neglect after leaving Ukraine born Natalie Grace in an apartment shortly before the family moved to Canada in 2013. The family paid Natalie's rent after they left the United States but otherwise broke off contact. Michael Barnett reportedly told police Natalie is three foot tall and has trouble walking. Okay. Oof. She's made some birds look like a little Ewok or something chasing you. Just ask her the hell out. Most people, you know, damn near. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> okay. In a defense echoing the 2009 horror film, The Orphan. See? See what I mean? Miss Barnett, 45, says Natalie was 22 years old when they left her behind not nine, as the court documents claim. According to a letter from the family doctor, which is Miss Barnett's pro provided to a local TV station, Natalie's date of birth at the time of adoption was clearly inaccurate. The letter, which Indiana University Health have not confirmed as genuine, states that she had adult teeth and had begun ministry. Oh man. Oof. And I guess these are the the adopted parents right here. That you know, Christine and Michael Barnett, you know. Whew, that's messed up. Yeah, like I said, you know, when you man, it's a roll of the dice when you adopt anyway, because you don't like I said, you don't know what you're getting. And I think about several years ago, matter of fact, it had to be about several years ago where it was a elderly black couple that adopted i think I, it was on either dateline or 2020 one of those shows you know that actually adopted uh it could have been 12 13 14 years old you know and uh could have been a little older but do you know that that little bastard killed them people with an axe you see what i'm saying and he was a teenager he was a kid this right here is actually an adult in a, well, what appears to be a toddler's body. Okay? Chucky and shit. This is crazy. <laughs> That's messed up. But to get back into the story, it also states that the girl had made a career perpetuating her age facade and was diagnosed with sociopathic personality disorder. See, crazy. The Barnetts had the girl's age legally changed from 8 to 22 in 2012, making her legal 
date of birth, September 4th, 1989. Ms. Barnett has told Daily Mail TV that the she had, well, it says that. Daily Mail TV that the she had attempted to harm other members of the family while she was under their care. <laughs> we, which I'm, I wouldn't have adopted in the first place, but you know, I'm just saying. I watched that movie, The Orphan. And I was like, I'd have tossed that little motherfucker out of a window somewhere. I'm telling you, that's just all there is to it. The shit that she was doing. Well, let's let's read the rest of this. She was hiding knives in our couch. She was talking about how she was going to kill family members. She put chemicals in the coffee, Miss Barnett said. She was jumping out of moving cars. She was smearing blood on mirrors. She was doing things you could never imagine a little child doing. She would stand over people in their sleep. See? She would be standing in the middle of the room and say, I'm waiting for the right time. Yeah, she had to get out. You know, I, I don't care. You know, mm -mm, she had to go. Natalie was in and out of mental institution, well, mental health facilities. But was left in an apartment in Lafayette, Indiana in 2013 when the Barnetts moved to Canada to support their son, Jacob, in further education. The family are already known as the world through, well, known to the world through Jacob, a child prodigy who has the subject of a 2012 uh, episode of CBS 60 Minutes. At the age of 12, Jacob was taking university math Class, math classes and is currently pursuing a PhD in quantum gravity at the what's that Perimeters Institute for Theoretical Physics okay it is not clear what happened to Natalie since she was left in Lafayette although court documents obtained by local media suggest that she was evicted from the apartment in 2014 Miss Barnett is due to appear <laughs> in court later this month. Whoa. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. Man, shit. That, that kid messed your all life up. Well, that adult messed your all life up. Uh, you know, you always hearing some crazy shit from adopting kids from Russia, as a matter of fact. Like I said... Y'all check out that movie, The Orphan, and y'all y'all gonna be astonished how much similarities you know between this story right here and that movie, The Orphan. It's almost like this story was made up, but you know, well, these people finna go, you know, you know, the court behind this shit. But y'all tell me what y'all think about this story right here. I'm interested in hearing y'all thoughts, views, and opinions on it. Uh, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and remember to live your life as though we are being watched, because we are. This is James, and I'm out. Peace.